the language of algebra, the terms you need to know and help you understand mathematicians when they talk about equations. First of all, we're going to look at this equation here, y equals 5x plus 7, and it's made up of different um, parts, and these are the names of them. We have the term, an expression, and equation. Now, it's very important you understand the difference between an equation and an expression. The expression we're going to look at here is just the 5x plus the 7. Notice there's no equal sign in this, and that gives you your expression. There is no equal sign in any expression. An equation is made up of two expressions. We have the y, and we have the 5x plus 7. And those make up the equation. Expressions that have the terms in them, which are the 5x and the 7 in this case, separated by pluses or minuses. And we can also separate parts, all the terms in the equation, by using an equals, a plus, or a minus. The first thing I want to look about is this part here, the 5 in front of the x. This is known as the coefficient of x. So if we want to know what the coefficient of x is, it's how many lots of x we've got, and it's 5. Now any variable, let's look at what variables are, and here are two variables, x and y are two variables, has a coefficient, and even the y here has a coefficient, it's how many lots of y we've got, and we've got one lot of y. Even if you had, say, 10x squared, that x squared is a variable, and therefore has a coefficient, and it's how many lots of it there were, and it'd be 10. Now let's move on and look at dependent variables and independent variables, the two types of variables we have. The independent variables are the inputs to the equation. So we put in a value for x, we get a value for y out. So therefore y depends on the x value. The y depends on the x value. So the y is the dependent variable. And because the x doesn't depend on anything, it's the independent variable. And the last thing we need to consider is the constant type of term. So we've got all these different types of terms. We've got the dependent variable, the independent variable, and we've got the constants. Constants are just numbers. So they can be pos positive, negative, they can be fractions, they can be decimals, they can be thirds, they can be rational. rational. Um, those are known as constants. I'm moved, I'm